Valheim is a brand new open world Viking themed co op survival RPG in which you must build, battle, and conquer the lands of Valheim as part of your patronage to Valhalla. This game came out on Steam on the 2nd of February 2021, and at the time of recording this video, it was the day after release. Strap in because this game has a nice mix of survival, boss fights, and a good sense of progression that I think will appeal to a lot of people. You know what else appeals to a lot of people? Not going bald at an early age. Unfortunately, this is something that two out of three guys will experience before the age of 35. Now, I'm 28 and I can already feel my hairline slightly receding, which is a concern to say the least. Thankfully, a revolutionary new product called Keeps has been developed to improve the way that men are treated for hair loss. Once you're bald, you're bald. There's no magic way of growing your hair back. So the trick is to take action and to do something about it whilst we still have hair left. And this is where Keeps can help. Keeps is the most affordable hair loss treatment on the market, you'll see results after four to six months, and you'll also have access to a friendly support team of trained care specialists. So if you're ready to take action to keep that glorious manly hair of yours, head on over to keeps.com slash the lazy peon to save 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash the lazy peon. Valheim, brand new game, came out yesterday. Let's see if it's any good. Choice between being male or female. The art style is interesting. Looks a little bit pixelated almost. A few different hairstyles. Okay, that's looking good. The, the, the beard options are quite substantial in this game. So what's a good Viking name? Grimlock. New worlds. These worlds are pretty dead. I was just in my own world. Norway is going to be the name of my world. And let's go. Norway has Vikings, right? Yeah, pretty cool start to the game. We're getting transported somewhere by a giant raven. And here we are. We are in Valheim and we are wet. So these stones represent bosses that I need to defeat. My first boss, I'm going to need to gear up before I fight him, apparently. So clicking on that, that's shown me where he is. I'm going to mark that on the map. Let's go out and get it, I guess. Um, punch trees. Yes, skill improved. Unarmed one. So your skills improve as you do them. Makes sense. Oh, what is that? Hello. Bloody Grayling's coming in hot. Let's give him a punch. Fuck you, Grayling. So you got some loot for me. New item, torch. Okay, we can go stealthy if we want. Big damage. Nice. Okay, so the fire thing is a weapon. Okay, onwards we go. Let's head in the direction of the boss that I need to kill. Maybe I'll find a weapon on the way. Oh, okay. Shh. Dude, you can't see me. I'm in a bush. Skill improved. Jump. Oh god, what? Wait, what? <laughs> this is what happens if you try to jump without stamina. Oh wow, there's some bloody giant tree in the distance. Oh, that's a pack of wolves. Or is it a pig? No, it's a pig. I'm hungry for some boar. Die boar, you're on fire. Nice, he bloody exploded. The art style of this game's like kind of interesting. It's really weird stylized style. I kind of like it. You found the summoning place of one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering and they will come. I'm immersed because I'm just immediately thrown in this big open world. I don't know what the extent of this game is. I don't really understand the scope of it. And I've been given a path that I need to basically prepare to fight a boss. Ooh, what is that? A neck. Come to daddy. How'd you like me now, bitch? Skill improved woodcutting. And the tree falls down. And it bloody hits me on the head. Well, this game's realistic. That's kind of cool. Each time you strike down, you forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings. Sometimes you've just got to learn the hard way. Items recovered. Brilliant. Right, we need to make shelter then. Right now. Okay, workbench. I'm missing wood. And now I can craft some more stuff. The house is slowly coming together. Okay. Looks like we have a home. My house. It's not much, but it's home. Snap. One more. Yes, there it is. So now we should be able to use the crafting station. What do you mean it needs a roof? And then this should snap nicely here. So now that is 100% a roof. And if the game disagrees, then I think we both have different definitions of what a roof is. Yes, we have a roof. The game agrees. Furniture, bed, there we go. We've actually made quite a cozy little house. Looks like it's getting dark. Time for our first night sleep. And no, because we need a fire. There's always a problem. Life is not easy in Valheim. Got some meat on the fire for in the morning. Let's go to bed. Good night's sleep. And have some breakfast. Day three. Cooked meat, so. 
Let's enjoy some breakfast. So now I'm going on a bit of a gathering rampage today. And tomorrow we take on the boss. I'm actually having fun so far. And while on the road to 99 woodcutting at this rate, coming for that skills cape. So it seems as though there's three types of food in this game if you want to fully satisfy your hunger. You've got meat, mushrooms, and raspberries. Seems like you have to have a healthy diet of each of those. Oh, a chest. We found something. What's that? Ooh, is that a bee? Ooh, fuck off, beehive. I'm going to sneak up on the deer. Sneak. Turns out you don't need a bow and arrow to hunt deer. You just need to be a sneaky beaver. Hunt his kin. Ahaha. Ah, so it's a puzzle. Um, hunt his kin. And it's like a picture of a deer. So I guess I go grab a deer trophy. Okay. Something's happening. Ooh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. That's epic. Yeah. From behind the rock. Holy. It's not a good time for my character to be hungry for raspberries, but you got to do what you got to do. Dodge. Should we try hitting him with the melee for a bit? Okay. Back to the boat. Come on then, you little bitch. God. Let's not get cocky. We're slowly getting him down. One more big damage with this boat. Eat some food. Block. Big damage, big damage. We got him! Yes! And there's the first boss dead. That was really cool. So the gods are going to smile upon me, apparently. I wonder if that's going to unlock anything. So, your ability to run and jump has improved. Jump stamina usage minus 60% and run stamina usage. That's really good. And we are stronger. Next boss, I guess. So apparently what I need to do is go to a new place called the Dark Forest for the next boss. I'm not too sure where that is, so I'm just going to take all of my stuff and go on a bit of a journey. It would have been brilliant if the game could give me an indication, but based on the map, I'd say it's over here somewhere. I've stumbled upon the Black Forest. Nice. Ah, oh, here we are. Yes, yeah, definitely looking darker. What is that? We have some skeleton mobs. How much damage was that? <laughs> a lot. Okay, those skeletons don't fuck around. We need to build a base. Ah! What is that? Oh, it's a... It's a thing. It's a... Th it's... Pff, I don't know what it is. It's a thing. Grey dwarf? Uh, it does not look like a dwarf. Oh, God, there's another one. They're all, they're all coming at me. Oh, there's a bloody clan of them. We need to build this house very quickly. Yeah! God, there's more of them. Feel cold. Feel scared as well. I can't believe I bloody made it through the night time with those mobs just chasing me. Okay. We have a roof over our heads. So with that, let's go investigate these bloody skeletons that were over here. Delves and dungeons? What? Let's go in. Do you go through a loading screen? You do. Ooh. Now things are getting interesting. Oh, I don't have a torch on me. Burial chambers. Dude, there's a skeleton. We, uh... Oh my god, the skeletons do big damage. Dude, this is starting to feel like a real RPG. So there's doors this way. What's this way? Yeah, this is getting cool. Hello there. Whee! <laughs> Spooky ghost waiting for me. Yeah, this is the ghost strat. Smack, smack. Close the door. And out ghost the ghost. Ha <laughs> ha! Human one, ghost zero. So to find the location of the second boss, you actually had to go into one of these delves. And then that gives you the location. And this thing is really far away. The next morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Grey Dwarf. So the plan now, upgrade weapons and then make another trip to where that boss is. Okay, deer hide cape. That's going to give me more armor. Antler pickaxe. I'm really starting to enjoy this game. It's difficult and it's very slow to progress, but the sense of progression when you do make progress feels fantastic. The game's certainly very rough around the edges, which is to be expected for a game that's brand new to Steam Early Access, but definitely has a lot of potential. Okay, let's have a little crack at mining. Okay, mining ore. Oh, what? You can tear... You can just mine the bloody floor and that gives you stone. So now I've learned to mine the floor. I guess if I want to make a nice house, 
I should mine out the floor first and then it's gonna be all flat. That's cool. The more I play this game, the more I'm starting to enjoy it. Look at my new gear setup. I'm looking a lot more like a warrior now than I was when I started. Next to delve, let's go. Troll cave. Take these yellow mushrooms. Oh, fuck off! Oh my god, it's huge! Dude, it's like a, it's a troll like the size of... Oh my god, it, it's the size of the troll from Harry Potter. Okay, yeah, let's not go in the troll cave. We're not gonna fight the troll. I think that is not what you're supposed to do. I think you're supposed to run past the troll. Take his treasure and get out. Troll cave 2. Electric boogaloo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fuck the troll cave. You don't feel rested anymore. Well, obviously, I've just been smacked in the face with the bloody troll club. Can't imagine I am very rested. So it's about a week later after I made my initial Valheim recording. And the video hasn't been edited yet. I just was really in the mood to play more of this game, which is a fantastic sign. I've come out of my house and everything's super misty right now. Ooh, this game's definitely been updated. It's like the boar has an alert thing now. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Fucking hell, giant troll just wandering the forest. Dude, I wasn't expecting that. Snow. Mountain. Ooh, new area. You are freezing. Oh, shit. This troll looks like a titan from Attack on Titan. Terrifying coming across that in the forest at night. Workbench level three. Now I've unlocked the tanning rack. Now I have unlocked the ability to build a raft. And we are going to sail the ocean. Charcoal kiln right here. Okay. Okay. The house is slowly coming together. Where's my fucking copper? Mate, I want my fucking copper. I suppose you could say I've really... Dug myself into a hole with this one. Out of stamina, out of luck, feel cold. I, I think that's the least of my worries right now, to be perfectly honest. Just wanna mine the rock. Give me that sweet copper ore. I really love the whole like terraforming thing as you mine, that's really cool. So if we combine copper and tin, we're gonna make bronze. And hopefully with that, we can make an actual sword. Plate legs. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting into it. Now we're getting some big damage weapons. Bronze axe. The whole new tier of stuff has been unlocked. That's exciting. Nice sense of progression. The forest is moving. What does that mean? Action is coming. What? What the hell's happening? Oh my god, they're all fucking attacking my house. This has never happened before. Invasions added to the compendium. Wow, monsters will siege your camp from time to time. That's amazing. Lure them away from my house, I guess. Like, AOE them down with fire. Pop the AOE, activate the power. Forest rests again, thank goodness for that. So that whole invasion aspect to the game, a fantastic idea. I guess it's kind of inspired from Seven Days to Die. Oh my god. Now that is a weapon. Now it's time to hunt. Let's see how good this new weapon is. Big damage. Wait, we was one-shotting those things anyway. Calm down, Craig. We need to test it on a Grey Dwarf. Come on, then. Oh, that is good. Two hits. The reach on this thing's brilliant. Now I've got this weapon, I feel like I've kind of conquered this part of the map. And now we can just focus on getting ourselves some good gear and preparing for the journey across the sea. Oh, I love this game. This is... Just one of the most fun survival games I've ever played. It's the best survival game in years, I reckon, actually. After seeing the whole invasion thing, knowing that I can go across the bloody ocean. There's so much to do. Just having a fantastic time. I don't want to stop playing. And I feel sorry for my editor that this video is turning out to be so long. It's like a lot of work for him. Shoot the bastard. Oh, that did some big damage. We can just cut him out. It's a nice location to fight the troll. I mean, we took on a giant deer monster. Why can we not take out this big boy? Of course we can. Just need a little confidence, that's all. It's one burny boy. I was so scared of Mr. Troll. I don't know, I seem to have grown some balls in the past day or so. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. Dodge that. Right in the dick. Ooh, dead troll. Watch this. So we dodge back. Hit. Dodge. Hit. Dodge. Leave the cave. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to get the stuff I need to make a portal. Two portals. I'm going to build a raft, sail across the ocean to the new land, then connect the portal from this house to the new land.
There's one end of it. Next. Boat. Resin, leather scraps, and wood. Oh, fuck off! Where did you come from? I was just chopping fine wood. Oh, it's okay. I can kill a troll. Especially out in the open. Trolls are fairly easy. This game definitely gets harder as it goes on. Like, the first few hours, I didn't see any trolls. And now I'm fighting them constantly. Come on, then. That's what you get. And we have a raft. Fantastic. Now let's jump in the water before the forest attacks. <laughs> the grey dwarf's trying to follow me. Come on. Come on, then. Here it is. Let's go. I wonder if there's sea monsters in this game. I hope not, because I feel very vulnerable right now. Oh, God, I see something in the water. I see a fish. I guess let's park my boat here. This looks like a nice place to dock. That was pretty epic. This is just a tiny little island. This isn't even where I need to go for the boss. I've got a real journey ahead of me for the boss. This game just keeps on surprising me. Get back in the water. Seems as though we've encountered a bit of a problem. My raft isn't where I'd like it to be. It's in the middle of every mob in the game. So we are very much fucked. I am absolutely screwed and bamboozled. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What's the play? Push the boat. Climb on the boat. Go. Is this the play? Don't look behind. Oh my god. No! <gasps> They smashed my fucking raft! Okay, build, 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 build. Workbench. Portal. Oh my god. This game is crazy. Sure, I am playing solo like an absolute idiot. Run, jump, get onto this island. We're gonna name the portal, connect it. Okay, connected. We're gonna get some supplies. <laughs> oh, dude, this game's hard. Okay, let's go back to the island. Build a brand new raft. And we're gonna destroy the old portal. Push the boat. Jump on, rudder, right go. Right, I think we're moving faster than they can swim, so we should be okay. I can't believe we made it past that. That was the island from hell. The world in this game is absolutely ginormous. Oh, fantastic. And now it's storming in the ocean. That's what we needed. Please don't let me capsize. I knew the ocean wasn't going to be completely safe. It's very stormy. I'm really hoping this is all just for show, because I do not want to die in the middle of the ocean. I don't have a solution to that. Oh my god, this is hard to control now. I think I can see the new landmass ahead. We're almost there, come on. And it looks as though we have made it to the new world. Ah, oh, we have made it. Oh, hello, Grey Dwarf. Been here for two minutes and the Grey Dwarfs have already spotted me. Now we've arrived, my plan is to build a house near where this boss is, connect my portal, and we should be good. Portal here. So after about eight or ten hours of gameplay, we've finally made it. The pilgrimage across the ocean. We can summon the Elder. Here we are. It is time. Let's drag this here. Ancient seed. One, two, three. You make the sacrifice. Here we go. The Elder has awoken. Oh my god, it's a giant tree monster. Oh my god, that's cool. The screen sh- Ooh! Ooh, he summons roots. Ooh, yeah. What is- Dude, the screen shake is a little bit much, isn't it? Definitely a job for the bow and arrow. Hoi! So when he does that, you need to run. I think- I think I've got the strat already. Okay, on the floor. You run. Switch pillar. Very good for us. But he's not running at me. Um, I hope I've got enough arrows for this. I might have. Do headshots do more damage? I'm sure. Hoi! So the, the lower his health goes, the more of those things he's bloody summoning. He's just fucking running at me now. Is this phase two? Oh, let's burn that fucking tree. And I thought I was going a little bit overkill with the amount of arrows I was making. Probably not. Oh god, now there's a fucking grey dwarf running at me. Can I just fight a boss in peace, lad? Where's he going? Why are you running? Wait, wait he's going into the forest? Mate, come back. I never expected this game to be so epic. He's smashing down trees with his... Oh my god, it's just an absolute sight to behold. Is this the most epic survival game ever made? It's starting to feel that way. Patience and damage. Two things we need for this boss. We're so close. Just don't fuck this up. Come on. There it is. The Elder was defeated. We did it. 
I'm surprised we took that one down so easily, but after seeing these big rocky pillars, it was obvious to me that they were part of the boss fight mechanics. Did he destroy my portal? Yes, we can make another one, thank goodness. <laughs> Grey Dwarf almost getting killed by a tree. Okay, through the portal. Based on looking at these stone tablets, that was boss number two out of five, and I am like 10 hours in at this point. So there's a lot of content in this game right off the bat. Let's hang the trophy and activate the power. What does this do? Forsaken sacrifice. The Elder's power surges through you. In what way? Is it just big damage? Maybe it makes me chop trees like a motherfucker. Or maybe I'll just two hit that tree. Faster woodcutting. Okay, that makes sense. It seems as though you can only have one power activated at once. I guess my poor editor has like 10 hours of footage to go through for this video now. So I guess now would be a good time to wrap it up. So after playing Valheim for about 10 hours or so, my first impressions of the game are as follows. I like the game's weird stylized art style. At first I thought the textures weren't loading properly, but that's just how the game looks. It's certainly different at the very least. I like the general structure and premise of the game. Unlike other sandbox survival games, you always have a clear long-term goal in Valheim, working towards becoming strong enough to take on the next boss, to survive the next biome, or even just travel there by building a boat. I enjoyed the sense of progression that the game gave me and this feeling becomes more addictive the further you progress in the game. I think the physics of this game are quite fun. I like that you can die from a tree falling on your head and I like that mobs take damage if the tree rolls into them from a hill. The map in this game feels absolutely gigantic. My mind was blown when I had to sail across the ocean. I still feel like I've only just scratched the surface with this game. This would be an absolutely fantastic game to play with a small group of friends or a spouse. It's possible to play alone, but it can be a pain in the ass at times. The game is hard, so therefore it's engaging and probably what made me not want to stop playing. And for a brand new early access game, it didn't seem too buggy and didn't crash at all. The boss fights feel really epic. I think the building aspect of the game needs a lot of work. It was difficult to get things to snap together well, and it's also difficult to create a flat surface to build your base upon. The frame rate was a bit dodgy for me using the default settings, but turning off motion blur and bloom fixed it. Optimization could use some improvement. Personally, I don't like survival games that are too strict on weight limit, and Valheim feels like one of those games. I think I'd have had more fun if the weight limit and inventory was larger, as it was so super tedious to manage a lot of the time. For me, even with the stamina buff from the first boss, I still felt stamina was a real pain to manage. At the very least, they should remove stamina consumption from gathering. It doesn't add anything but tedium to the game. Overall, Valheim is the best survival game I think I've ever played, and I'm going to continue playing it even after this video. I feel like the design and structure of the game has taken the survival genre forward, and I hope more survival games learn from Valheim's way of giving meaningful goals for the player to pursue, and creating a world that's actually hard to survive in due to the PvE. But that's it for this video guys, as always let me know what you think about Valheim in the comments below, and would you like to see more games like this that combine RPG and survival elements in the future? Feel free to follow me on social media, I'm actually trying to post more regularly now, so links for those on screen. Thanks for watching, I hope you all had a successful day, and I'll see you again really soon.